welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be my hashtag team project can 2022. This is my September update. I'm filming a couple days early. I am actually gonna be traveling um, when the update is due or, you know, at that time. So I wanted to have an update. I missed the August one. I wanted to absolutely have a September update. If you like Project Pan videos, please go ahead and give this one a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel before you leave. And now let's go ahead and talk about um, this update. Uh, this project is created by Kat and Haley. I'll have both of their channels in the description box. Um, I did really good. This, this, those two past months I've done, did really good on some items. I have five empties and I have some items that are pretty close. Um, I'm either rolling new items in their place today or I'm gonna tell you like, okay, I think this is what I'm gonna work out, work on next not work out on work on next um let's get into it all right we'll go ahead and get started with the first empty that is gonna be the mac uh fix plus this is the cherry blossom collection i finally finished it you guys i did really enjoy it i do enjoy mac fix plus anyways and this was pretty nice i like the packaging it's pretty cute um I don't know that it smelled too much different than the original, maybe slightly different, but honestly, it's been so long since I've used just the original that I don't really remember what it smells like. I, I remember it was a scent that I did like before. But anyway, I finished this guy. Um, I just finished it like two, three days ago, not that long ago, and I had just been using like whatever's in my everyday makeup drawer, and I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and roll that in. Um, this is the Refresh. This is by Haley's and this is the ultimate priming and setting spray. I most likely will be using it as a priming mist. I do really enjoy the priming mist and it's open. Um, I don't have to open a new MAC Fix Plus or like the Smashbox um, primer waters. I don't have to open any of these. This is already open. I can finish it and then I'll, you know, and then I'll start working in working on onto the backup of the backup of the backup so yeah this is still brand new um i tried to weigh my items today some of them i was able to weigh um some other items my scale kept jumping up and down and like some things were heavier than they were two months ago so i gave up um but for now we'll just say that this is 137 see at 137.09 and then it jumps to 0.19 i don't know what's going on with it I'm just gonna go ahead and say 137.12 grams. The Haley's starting today. I better write that down. Okay, let's move on. Uh, the second empty that I have is a body wash and this is the Bath & Body Works 8,000 Wishes uh, body wash. It smelled really nice, I actually did enjoy it. I did finish it and I started working on a new one and it wasn't that long ago. Um, the scent of this one is so strong and actually lasts on my skin. Like after the shower, I can still smell it on me. So I feel like I can't use too much product with this one. Like I don't have to squeeze as much as I usually squeeze, which is kind of weird for me. I like a lot of lather, so I'm like always squeezing. But with this one, it ends up being like overwhelming scent um this is bath and body works and this is into the night it's still relatively new um i haven't used it much still pretty heavy but it smells nice just a little strong uh it would be kind of like it would have been a little bit wiser for me to save this until either like winter time or like fall time um but believe it or not i'm getting really really low on my uh shower gel collection i think i only have like four bottles left i've made a big dent in all of them and i don't want to buy anything new until i finish all of the shower gels i have so we're gonna work on this because that's what we have um yeah it smells good just strong not 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 for this time of the year but it's okay it's fine nobody cares um okay more empties you guys I uh, finished the Skin Ink. This is my daily dose, the supplement bar, uh, a face serum. Honestly, I, I don't know. I just use it in the morning. I would wash my face, use this guy. And then typically I would work out or, you know, go on with my day. And then if I'm putting makeup on, I'll just put it on top. I don't know that I did anything different, but I did go ahead and finish it. Um, I don't know if I was close at the last update, but as soon as I finished it, I started working on this one. This is the second one of these that I have. Um, this is 11, 
111 skin this is the rose gold radiance booster i used one of these up earlier in the year and i started working on the second one it was brand new when i pulled it in and then i weighed it today and it weighed um it weighed 60.32 grams. So, I mean, was it 60? I thought it was 63. No, it was 60.32 grams. Um, so I don't really have much left with it because I think brand new, this one is 70.48, um, according to like the previous one that I finished before. Um, this is ridiculously expensive. I don't know why it's so expensive. Like the bottle I've used up before. I didn't notice anything like major with it. It wasn't like a life changing thing. Sure. Like my skin looks kind of glowy when I apply it, but that's because the liquid itself has that like glowiness. I don't know if that's even like possible to see, like you see, how it's kind of like rose goldy. Um, so it has that shimmeriness. I don't I, I don't think like it's radiance that coming is like from my skin is radiating. Needless to say, I'm working on it. And uh, yeah, one out, one in. This should be done probably in a month or so. It's only 20 milliliters in here, not a 30, a typical 30. And then we'll see. But yeah. Okay, more, more empties. These are makeup empties now. Uh, the first one is Bobbi Brown. I finished the uh, lip tint. This is in the shade Bear Raspberry. I finished this guy, you guys. I'm so sad that I finished it. I loved it. I enjoyed it. And like I tried to scrape a little bit from the inside so you can see like a little bit of my nail uh, digging in there. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. I really, really enjoyed it. In its place, I'm gonna go ahead and roll in uh, two products. They're minis, so I'm like, I will just roll these in. Um, these are by Tower 28. These are the Shine On lip glosses, but I do really like them as a uh, like a lip balm, lip treatment, especially the clear one. They're so hydrating. They feel so good. Um, so yeah, I'm rolling in two. This one is in the shade Chill, the clear one. And then the reddish one is XOXO. I want to finish both of these. Um, yeah, and I think I can do it absolutely it's uh, uh lip balms and lip glosses that's easy put a lipstick in front of me and i'm like what do i do what do i do with this okay i have one more empty um in one very close and empty i'm calling it empty this one listen listen to me the packaging it's not empty like there's product in here but what's in here is different than this um i had the collapse at the set the stage a powder in the shade porcelain ivory um i finished that all i finished it all like everything um i was pretty close on the last update um and when i finished it i was like what am i gonna work on next so i wasn't really really sure um and then i decided i'm gonna work on this little tiny kat von d uh, lock it setting powder translucent and this is so tiny so i just pulled the stopper off this and you can even like <laughs> i haven't even pulled the little sticky on there and dumped all the product into the collab um container that's what i'm working on now i'm working on this Kat Von D little tiny mini but it is in the collab powder the original collab powder i finished it all capish are we all on the same page um, I'll probably finish this in the next month. I think there's only 1.4 grams in here, um, but that like I, I have I've been trying to go very light handed with powder because I have been wearing like super light coverage um, foundation, so I haven't been putting too much powder on. Um, I don't know. I hope I can finish it in a month, and then I'll have to decide. Okay, what am I gonna work on next? I don't think I have any more minis. Maybe maybe just one. Okay, one more empty and I know it's like, I'm just not even gonna bother breaking this up and like trying to use it cause I'm, I'm like, it just, it, it turns into a big mess. Uh, this is the NARS Laguna um, bronzer, um, a mini. I had hit pan and then I expanded the pan and then I tried, like I started crumbling it every time I wanna use it and then I use it this way. It's actually a trick I learned from my friend who learned from, I think it was Haley, no, Kat. Anyway, so I was trying to do that and then it would get like little crummies all over my clothes, all over the table. I'm like, forget it, I'm not even gonna bother. So I'm 
calling this guy an empty and I'm going to go ahead and roll something else in its place today. I don't know what, when we get to the bronzer section, I will make my decision. Um, I'll probably just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Or maybe I'll have a poll like, Hey, vote which one I should work on next. But yeah, there she is. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and move on right now to all the products that are still remaining in the project. But before we do, cheers, my friends. Now let's go ahead and talk about all of the other stuff that are remaining in the project. There's a lot. Um, we'll start with primer. The primer that I am working on is uh, by Elamasca. And this is the Hydroveil, Hydroveil, uh, Hydroveil primer. That's all it's called. I love this thing and I've, I've made a really good uh, progress on it. It's not a whole lot left in here. Like I can see it's, you know, I, I've made progress on this. It's like, I love that the, the, the material, how it's like gel, but then when you use it, it's liquid. I love it. It's amazing. Um, last update, this was 96.29 grams. Today's 90.69. Again, I tried my best. I took averages where I needed um, for weight wise, just to like, you know, kind of keep it consistent. But um, I, I think I'll finish it in the next month and then we'll have, you know, the next update is the exciting one because it's the refresh and I might refresh some items, but yeah, this guy. We're, 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 we're good. We're doing good with that one. The Sue Foundation. Um, I still have this one in here. I think I used it maybe one or two times since last update. This is Guerlain L'Essentiel uh, Natural Glow Foundation. Uh, I have the shade 035 and I, I really, really enjoy it. Um, but like I said, I've been wearing super light coverage foundation, like barely any foundation. Um, so I haven't like been really reaching for a typical foundation. I'll just use like a little tiny bit to mix it with something else. Or in this case, I only use it two times and I think I had some sort of occasion. Um, so yeah, I last update 151 grams. It's 150.38 now. I'm a failure when it comes to painting foundations. Uh, and last time I rolled in this guy, this is the Charlotte Tilbury, uh, flawless filter, Hollywood flawless filter. Um, and I actually have been using this one as a foundation. So I would use this guy and I did go ahead and pick up the one that, uh, Elf came out with. So I've been rotating between the two or mixing the two just because the shades are, you know, I can't get an exact match. Um, but yeah, I've been using this guy as a foundation. I will just apply it all over my all over my face with a dense brush. And then I'll lightly, very lightly set it. Or, you know, if I use a concealer, I'll set it. But I've been, it's just been easy. It's been quick. I And it looks really good. The whole glowy face. Now all these brands are coming out with those glowy mixers like Fenty with the ease drops. I'm gonna have to try that. So, um, they call my name, they're calling my names. So I've been using this one to kind of like curb the need to buy a new one. And um, yeah, last update, this was 136.32 grams. Today's 134.84 grams. So I did use it a little bit and I like it. I, I have been enjoying it. I, I don't have any complaints. Um, for concealer, I am using Kosas and here's the thing though, um, tone wise, like when I use this guy and then I use this concealer, I do see quite a difference because this is pretty yellow where this is kind of like on the pinky side. So I have been also pulling in the Kosas foundation and some other foundations sometimes to just like one dot to even everything out, or I would use a different concealer. Um, this guy. 29.21 grams last update and today is 28.59 grams. So not a whole lot of usage, but uh, because of the reason, like I explained, but I still like it a lot and I would recommend that concealer for sure. Um, let's move right on. We had Urban Decay All Nighter, um, or we, I, um, it's still in the project. It's not a whole lot left in there and I'm just gonna work on finishing it. Uh, last update, this was 93.55 grams. Today is 64.83 grams. I'm getting there. Like I've made a, like a big um, dent in this. 
It's 118 mils. I wonder if it's gonna be about 118 grams. Um, I started with this guy at 145 grams it weighed. Now it's 64.83 and pretty close to the 100 mark. So maybe only like 20, I'm like doing the math. Um, I just wanna know how long it's gonna take me to finish it. Um, it's still going. I, I like it. I, I like it a lot. And yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Hmm. We're in the bronzer category. I don't know what to do, you guys. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I just use whatever powder bronzers I have for now just to use them and not roll anything in. I don't know. Um, but for cream bronzer, I have the uh, Fenty. This is of uh, the Cheeks Out cream bronzer in the shade 03 Macchiato. Such a big dent in this, and I actually really like it. Um, that's the one I used today, and then I use the House Labs bronzer, which I love. Maybe I, use, yeah, I don't want to put that on the project. It's a big body. Um, but yeah, this guy last update it was 59.96 grams. And today, again, with my scale and it going up and down, it weighed 59.90. So I don't know exactly how much this guy weighs. I have no idea. I have no idea what to do for powder bronzer. Let me go ahead and show you the House Labs one. I've been using it and like i have like wearing down the pattern over here. Let me hold it this way. Um, I, I really, really enjoy it. I wore down the pattern. Maybe I'll just use this guy for the next month or I don't know, until the refresh. I don't know. I don't know what to do. TBD. Next up, we have blush. I am still working on MAC uh, Warm Soul. Of course, I'm still working on it. How could I not be working on it? This thing is massive. It's huge. I mean, I'm wearing it down, but not quick enough. Um, let's see. This was 39.19 grams. Today's 39.03. Who knows? My skill is not very, it's not, it's not being a good friend right now. Uh, for highlighter, I am working still on Bobbi Brown and look how big my pan is. I've expanded the pan. This guy is just so pretty. Like, to be honest, I think I've been reaching for this guy out of all my panning project items. Like most of the time I do my makeup, this is the highlight I'm reaching for. Even though I'm like, hey, today I'm not gonna use any project pen items and I'll do all of my face without project pen items, but I'll still reach for this guy. Um, it's so beautiful on the skin, like absolutely stunning. Um, update weight wise, this was 85.28 grams. Today's 85.05 grams. Um, for an uh, eyeshadow primer, I am using MAC Soft Ochre. Um, you guys, I, I, I'm, I'm doing decently well with this guy like um it's uh I'm, I'm evening it out all the way i think if i had concentrated on just like one spot i would have hit the bottom of the product but this it's fine um no complaints this guy the last update was 44.61 grams today's 44.29 grams um it was brand new when I started using it and it was 45.64. So I've used about 1.5 grams and this is a five gram product. Easily over a year to finish those things. For eye pencil, I am working on uh, L'Oreal Infallible um, eye pencil, something. It's getting pretty difficult to um, sharpen. I'll tell you why. Um, most of eye pencils or whatever that you sharpen, this part does not twist of the pencil. So it's easy to put it in and like twist it this way. This part doesn't twist, the whole pencil twists. With this freaking thing, this part twists. So like to sharpen it, it's pretty impossible. Um, it would be easier if I did not have long nails, but with the long nails, it's, it's rough. It's rough trying to sharpen it. So you like, see, see what I mean? Like I twist it and then the whole thing twists. So anyway, this guy is almost done. I uh, I do plan on like, I think maybe one or two times I can sharpen it. 
I don't want to have to rely on picking up pliers to just twist it in there. Whenever I can't sharpen it anymore, I'm going to go ahead and start working on this MAC um, eye pencil. This is in the shade Stubborn Brown. And I do like it a little bit more. Um, I like the brown for my eyes a little bit more. It looks a little bit less harsh. So I I'm looking forward to starting to actually work on this one, not just use it every once in a while. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't want to measure stuff. I <laughs> measure it in market. I'm sorry, you guys. For mascara, I am working on the Lancome uh, Hypnos Drama. I really, really like it. I've been enjoying it. I feel like my lashes just look absolutely stunning. They I have a complaint, of course. It gets so goopy up here on top. Oh, it's just like... I have a problem with that. I don't like my products to be kind of like goopy or like, yeah, but that's it. That's, that's my complaint about that one. Uh, for brow color, I am working on the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. To be honest, I haven't been using it. Um, I kind of like pull everything out of my uh, drawer and then I put this in my, uh, like an eyebrow section and then I never pulled it back. So I haven't really been using it. I, technically, I'm not gonna roll it out until like next update. Maybe I'll use it a little bit more, but I have been using this one. This is the brow pen. The shade is dark brown and this is by ABH. So I've been just using this guy, um, like instead of using a pencil or a powder and like a, a setting gel. I've been using this one. It looks so beautiful, so natural. I haven't been setting. I would apply this one and then I'll go after it with a spoolie just to kind of like feather it out even more. And it looks really, really nice. I do, I have been enjoying it. So this one and the ABH, um, maybe I used it a couple times. Let me wait it actually. Um, like the brow freeze, I, I haven't been using much. Mm, did I use a brow freeze since last time? Um, yeah, I did because last update it was 23.15 grams and today is 23 exactly grams. So I did use it maybe once, um, twice, a couple times since last update. But yeah, I, I, I've been re reaching for that brow pen. Um, it's just been so easy, especially like the days that I know I'm going to be busy or, you know, like if I'm traveling or something quick, I need to get ready quick. I've been just reaching for that pen. Okay, lip liner. I have um, Dose of Color lip liner and this is in the shade Honeymoon. Um, I really don't have much left in this guy and I thought about pulling some nails in its place today but I don't know what. I'm kind of leaning towards a, a red uh, lip liner just because I've been wearing red lipstick more often again um, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to pull in its place. Um, the one red uh, lip liner that I was considering is this one by LA Girl. This is the Ultimate Intense Stay Auto uh, Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Relentless Red. This guy is pretty amazing, you guys. I used it, um, I think it was for my birthday. We went out to dinner. I used this guy, um, and then I topped it with a matte lipstick, and my lips did not budge at all, all night long. So that's why I was considering this one, but then I would have to pull in some red lipsticks. I don't know yet because it's not the refresh time. Um, yeah, we'll wait until I finish it and then I'll let you know. Next update, you will definitely know what I ended up doing. Okay, for a lipstick. Mm. I swear, this guy does not want to end. This is the Bobbi Brown Lux Lip Color in the shade is Neutral Rose. Um, this was 10.03 grams last update. Now it's 9.92 grams. I mean, okay, a little bit of use, but I just want to be done with it, you guys. I don't know why it takes me so long to use up a bullet lipstick, but I can fly through lip line, like uh, lip glosses or lip balms. Um, the other product that I have in here is the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip and the shade is Give a Fig. Um, I do have a really nice window in this guy like all around over here. I did use it today so you can't really see the window very well. I'm going to try it but 
see it's like it's over here it was like all the way around so i know it's like it's getting there i really like the formula i really like the shade i'm just sick of how long it's taking me to finish it so i just i need to throw them in my purse you know like or or, or leave them on my like work table like this is the only thing i can reapply i haven't been doing that um weight wise zero change okay for a uh, lip gloss i pulled in the marrakesh tinted lip oil this is by Mary. i pulled it in last update and <laughs> which is weird i weighed it today and it had gained weight which is weird because i've been using it a lot it's, it's like it's on my diet you know um yeah it gains weight um <laughs> uh, I like it, so I'm just gonna keep using it. I still get product. I don't feel like I have to pull in the stopper yet. I do occasionally feel like, okay, maybe I need to scrape the sides, but overall, it still works. I do really like it. I can get product out and it just keep using it. Um, we already talked about lip balm. Let's go ahead and talk about perfume. For perfume, I am working on the Lancome uh Bidol Aura uh she was pretty new when I started it in the project I think that was like pretty close to the top I'm currently over here perfect beautiful scent for this time of the year I just hope that I can finish it before I start wanting some warmer uh perfumes this is not, it's not like it's not warm it's just it has a little bit more floral than warm to it so it's like a nice scent for the summer um they came out with a new idol and i'm very curious because i have the original too and i'm like mm, why are they doing this to me i hate the bottle i hate the freaking model you try to set it down and she's she just wobbles you know like she's not thick she needs a thicker base here we go she's wobbling um and then wait am i done guys that was my last product Oh no, one more. <laughs> okay. My body lotion, uh, Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Sunkist Body Lotion. Uh, I haven't weighed it. This guy weighed 227.70 grams last update. Today is 110.74. Um, I hope you enjoyed this update. Sorry, it was kind of like felt a little bit all over the place. Um, trying to kind of get used to sitting in front of the camera and filming it's not easy especially when i take such long breaks from filming it's like what do i say um thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you in the next one cheers